Hey everyone, if you're following my Minecraft plugin development series, I want to show you a better way to deploy your jar to your local server. So whenever we use the IntelliJ plugin for Minecraft, that actually set up a pom.xml file so we can actually use Maven within our project. Now, if you don't know what Maven is, don't worry. What we need to do with this, it's gonna be very basic. And if you're interested in learning more about Maven, you can simply just look it up on YouTube or Google. And there's plenty of tutorials out there. But for what we want, there's very little we have to do. We first want to find this build right here. And then if we scroll down further, we are going to see executions. And we also see configuration right here. What we want to do is we want to copy our server's plugin file path and add it right in here as output file. Make sure it's not output directory, but output file. Now this is going to be the full path that's going to be our server's plugin folder plus the file name. So go over to your file explorer and here I'm inside my server and inside my plugins folder. I can click here and copy the full path and I can then paste it in right here. Now at this stage, I'm gonna add in a backslash, but if your operating system is using forward slashes, for example, like this, then you want to use that one instead. So here I have a backslash after plugins and now I'm going to name my plugin. In this case, I want to name it the same thing, which is Warnoff Keys Tutorial.jar. So I can say Warnoff Keys Tutorial.jar. And then to prove that this is going to actually distribute that, I'm going to delete this file from my plugins folder. Now we can go over to the Maven tab on the right and under lifecycle, we want to go over to install. Now I've assigned a mouse button to this, so I can go ahead and right click and click on assign shortcut. Then here we have the install functionality. We can right click and add a keyboard shortcut or a mouse shortcut. Go ahead and configure that to whatever you want. Alternatively, you could just open up Maven and double click install whenever you want to deploy it. But in this case, I want to simply just click on a button. It's automatically going to start building our jar and deploying it to our server. So here we see everything was successful, as we see right here. If I go back into my folder, here we now see a worn off key tutorial. And with this change, I've actually changed the start.bat file. So I'm going to right click and edit this. And here we see that I have a colon start. And I'm also jumping back to the start. That way we don't have to keep reopening our batch file every time. And I basically just removed the copying of the jar and I'm just going to go ahead and run the server. So this updated batch file can be found in the description so you can easily copy and paste it. And this is going to be the deployment workflow that I'm going to be using from now on in this series. It is much more user-friendly. For example, in my case, I just have to press a button on my mouse and it automatically deploys our plugin over to our server and then I can simply just restart it. 